Welcome, in this video we're going to take a look at how to detect SMBV1 scanning and SMBV1 established connections on your network. My name is Dara Delaney from Netfort. So I'm not going to go through the whole theory behind SMBV1, but it is something you need to root out. Uh, SMBV1 has been used by a lot of ransomware variants to compromise networks and it's definitely something you want to phase out. Now before you can detect it, you need a data source. And probably the easiest data source is to monitor network traffic. Now to do that, typically what you can set up is a span or a mirror port off your core switch or off the switch that your servers connect to. A core is ideal because you'll have a lot of traffic passing through there. So in my case, I may monitor my servers here and I send a copy of the traffic out to a span mirror sometimes even call a monitoring port. So as traffic from clients move around, moves around the network, a copy of that traffic is sent out here. And in my case, I've got our Langardian product connected to this monitoring port. Second one here is used for management. So you need some sort of an application, some sort of a tool that can process or analyze network traffic. So that's my setup. So let's take a look at the reports and how we can detect SMBV1 activity. So I'm now logged on here to my LangGuardian. So let's root out the SMBV1 activity. In the search box here, just type in actions. And we're looking for top file share actions. Choose an appropriate time period. I'm going to select last 24 hours. And run the report. Now what you get here is a summary of all file share activity, renames, writes, reads, ma network maps, deletes, creates. So it's a summary of all connections, whether failed or successful to and from your file, your network file shares. But the two I'm most interested in here is the SMBV1 events. So we've got two. The first one, SMB connection attempt. Let's drill down on this. What this shows us is where we have clients on our network attempting to connect to a usually a server and it, the client is broadcasting in, well, in the initial setup that it wants to use SMB v1. Now the server may or may not accept that but a client is trying a SMB v1 connection attempt. So in my case the what we need to review will be the clients. You might need to disable SMB version one. So this is a list of them all here on my network. We got 10 and you can see the number of times they attempted to connect. In this case here, this machine tried to connect to a server. The file is just a backslash. So that's probably a, a network map. There's no files being accessed, which makes sense. It's just a connection attempt and the action. I can drill down to the date and time. The second events here, these would be more serious if you want to clean up SMBV1 because these are where we have an actual connection which has been established and it's using SMB version 1. So let's drill down. You get a similar view here. Well, actually, we got less. So we got a couple of issues. This um, Windows, this user laptop here, has established a connection to number servers. So probably the priority one. Um, Certainly the, the most uh, highest priority events here are the things I need to sort out straight away is patch or remove SMBV1 from the this DC which is the main controller 201. This NAS server here needs to be looked at and this other store because clients have managed to map a drive and it's using SMB version 1. So the takeaway from running bolt reports is I've got three servers that I need to patch or remove SMBV1. And as a follow-up to that, not a greater priority, but as a follow-up, I also have a couple of clients out there I need to uh, again, disable SMB version one on. If you want, um, you can also add these reports to a dashboard. So this one here has got the SMB1 um, filter on it. So I can go actions, I can save that as a report and put it on a dashboard. I could also get an alert once I clean it up. So I can use this to report to generate an alert so that if anybody else, any other clients established connection, I can be immediately notified. That's a quick way of number one, detecting SMB1 scanning connection attempts on your network. And number two, 
client servers that are using the SMEV1 protocol.